let's not make housing more affordable. That's basically what the Cheyenne City Council said earlier this week. The Cheyenne Planning Development Department put out their first series of proposals to help improve affordability for housing here in Cheyenne, and it was rejected by the City Council earlier this week. The primary code change that was rejected would have eliminated a code that requires all multifamily new construction builds to have a facade on 30% of the building that is brick or stone, not structural, purely aesthetic, and that was rejected. This current code really increases the cost on these builds for something that is totally aesthetic. The builders are saying that this extra cost for us to be offset and increase housing price or they could keep the price the same and make the home more energy efficient. Ansley, an architectural designer for Winters Griffith Architects, is in support of removing this code change. She says that Cheyenne is the only town that she's aware of that has this sort of facade requirement. So we're out of the norm. So what did the city have to say? Well, Mayor Collins says, how do we protect the community if we remove this requirement? And you know, how do we stop someone from going in and just putting up a bunch of clapboard fourplexes and just shoving them in there? Well, I think Mayor Collins is forgetting that we still have a planning department if we remove this code. Those plans would still have to be approved, right? Jason Steven, the owner of Gateway Construction, great builder here in town, responds to Mayor Collins with people aren't gonna buy something that's not attractive that they don't like the look of. So you don't gotta be concerned with that. He also tries to win them over by saying we could just shove these kind of off the main road so they're kind of hidden and you don't have to see them, you know, because they don't have the stone on it, which is completely messed up in the first place. But it shouldn't even be an idea that you are throwing out there to try to appease these politicians. Jason Steven continues to say that on his current construction of the 100 unit apartment complex, if they could eliminate that 30% for facade requirement, that that would lower their building costs by about $400,000. Think of how much lower the prices on rent could be if that amount was not there. The city planning director, Charles Bloom, I gotta agree with him here. He said that this won't solve the housing affordability problem in Cheyenne, but it's a step in the right direction. And I agree with him. It's a step and we should have taken it. And in response to all this, one of the city council members, Tom Seagrave says, we don't have shortage of multifamily units. He completely disagrees with that, completely ignoring the study that was done to initiate all of this. Hello, we are short thousands of units already, let alone what's gonna happen in the future. And he's just saying we don't actually have a problem. City Councilman Richard Johnson points out that there are over 1,800 people on the Cheyenne Housing Authority waiting list looking for affordable housing. That keeping this facade requirement on is hurting and, make, and pushing things further out of a lot of people's price range. But this upcoming City Council member, there's gonna be four more code changes that are proposed, including window requirements on residential building facades, removing minimum lot area requirements, removing density requirements for multi-dwelling buildings, and reducing required parking spaces for multifamily development. We've already got Tom responding and saying that we already have a problem with parking and that all these changes are unnecessary and misguided, completely ignoring the recommendations from the study from LCCC and the Chamber of Commerce. Tom continues to basically say that he's not in favor of any changes and that things are fine and that any changes are just gonna hurt our multifamily market. We are totally short on housing. We need more units. We need them to be built more affordably. You can see that this vote ultimately failed to remove this 30% facade requirement. You probably saw that coming. Richard Johnson was the only one who voted in favor. Mayor Collins did not vote. You can see that I get fired up about this because housing affordability is a major problem. And removing this code requirement is an easy, quick, and effective change that we could have implemented right away and that would have immediately been able to help lower building costs and hopefully those savings could be passed on to renters in the form of lower monthly rents. I hope in this upcoming city council meeting that they will pay attention to the study about the housing crisis in Cheyenne, take action on some of those recommendations to help improve affordability because something needs to be done and we need the help. Contact your city council members right now. Go tell Richard Johnson thank you. And happy birthday. His birthday was the other day.